killed all the cats it won't be so kind to you as the woman speaks you hear a distant rattle of chains and she winces in pain <sighs> the jailer will hear us i shouldn't be talking to you i must go it's not kind to me the figure flickers and starts to dim from view but you sense she could be convinced to return The figure shimmers brightly. Your words seem to have piqued her curiosity. I can't leave. I could only suffer. But I'm supposed to do that in silence. Everyone here hates me for what I am. I'm the thing that kills you and the only reason you're alive. Made by a promise and done by the truth. A handshake, a hug, the first beat of a newborn's heart. I am hope. What little is left of her. A guttering candle in a universe of night. I'm not much of a friend to anyone anymore. But I could use a friend myself. Do you want a friend to guide you through this madhouse? I hear the jailer. It hears me. It'll call Raphael, make every question count. Make some of them count twice. an ancient gift prince in need of a savior the orphic hammer is the perfect tool for breaking all infernal chains hope can help the hammer is here in this house it's you hear a sound like the rattle of a chain and an agonizing scream in your head as hope flickers from view momentarily Shh. here is mad even you especially me and that makes them dangerous but it also makes them stupid i'll make you seem as ruined as the rest of the people here a simple glamour to make you a terrible wretch <laughs> now whisper your questions little wretch but really quiet and very clever concentrate A mice. The 
same place you'll find your sorry little soul when Raphael rips it out. In the archive down the corridor past the debtors. Oh, the debtors. They won't like you. But I like you. I know I do. I think I do. I hope I do. I just need to ask one question and I'll know for sure. Can you save me? Please, 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 please. You don't even know how. All right. You have to listen very, very, very closely. I will say this only once. Find the key, take the hammer, smash my chains. Find the key, take the hammer, smash my chains. Find the key, take the hammer, smash my chains. But be careful, when you take the hammer, the fire will come, and Raphael, you must run, 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 run! But don't forget me. Please, please, please! I don't want to burn. Not again. The rattle of chains echoes louder from unseen places, and without a scream or a sigh, hope disappears. There's nothing. Gods, I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm gonna get out of here, right? Get in, get the hammer, and go. Easy. Ugh. Let's just find that fucking hammer and get out of here fast. On the bright side, my engine finally feels normal. Like it isn't about to explode. <sighs> I gotta admit, it's pretty nice. Let's find that hammer and get out of here before I get used to feeling like I might live. Rest your weary soul. Breathe deep. from the pillar. You sense the sorrow of a thousand damned souls trapped within. Your nerves rattle and your skin shivers. The pillar contains thousands of angry souls what eager to escape. Sorry, soul, come to wander these halls. What do you seek? I cannot help you. This is not my home, even if I can never leave. I was an architect in life, a builder of tombs and temples. <laughs> but mostly of towers. My proudest work reached for the stars and sought to dry Seluna's tears. It was a monument to life and to virtue, and a happy home to my master for many years. Deaths in the family. Happiness rarely lasts a lifetime. When tragedy came, my master fell into darkness and despair. He marshaled a great army to ruin the world and bring all into shadow. I could not let it happen. I sought out the devil, Raphael, and signed an infernal pact with him. He promised to destroy my master's army 
and I promised him my soul in return. The devil was true to his word. Fiends slaughtered my master's forces, but he endured somehow and blighted the land. You know my work. Oh, I am glad it endures. Perhaps you also have the misfortune of knowing my master, General Catholic Thorm. Then all came to pass as I had hoped, <laughs> though a century too late for my family and friends. Your actions may have justified the price of my soul. <laughs> I thank you. Tell me, what became of my pride? What became of Moonrise Towers? Perhaps one day, new life will find it. Thank you. Now go. Finish your business here and leave while you can. Here, the chaos of the world is dimmed. Here, the violence of life is pacified. Here, there is order. you all if you take another step. And you won't be able to see me while you're being digested! You found my prison. My body is held in chains just beyond. Presumably you intend to chew through the chains, cracking your teeth like eggshells. It won't work! The hammer is the only thing capable of shattering the chains. Don't hear you, won't you blundering cricket! <clears throat> It's in the archive. When you remove it, the whole house will go up in flames. Raphael will fly home. Furious. Ready for Raphael's homecoming? Ah, he'll use you as a handkerchief. No, no, no. Don't listen to me. You're gonna do just fine. I'll be waiting, like I have a choice. This one appears to have won a taste of freedom just before they died.
a lost little mouse is running through the house. Oh, God. What the fuck have I stumbled into? A thief in the night, greedy and here to take. Why are you here, little thief? Hmm. Raphael all but spent himself to get that hammer. And you want to take it off him? This is very naughty. Whatever are we to do? Why don't we play a game? You win, I give you everything you desire. <laughs> but you'll enjoy yourself more if you There is one way to leave here alive, darling. Play with me. Pretty, please. I'd hate to have to kill you. You will make a pretty feast. Boots have seen everything.
Another day, another fight. This way. Take you. Some healing for a wizard in need. could go for a good meal. Marching! All's well that ends. No, not as bad as it could have. Still me. Even after everything. Ah! A magic keyword. That'll help us in the archive. are watching me. One with the weave. The right tools for the wrong trade.
Give up now. I need to find a way forward. Better not be cursed. Something good here, I hope. to do. He said he'd turn my eyes in on themselves. To see inside me. Rolling and rolling until they burst. No traps, please. What path lies before me? of all things that burn. Nothing. It's a door, not a door. Then it's a jam jar! You won't find a way out here. Or a way in. This is the Chamber of Egress. The portals here crisscross the plains, but they won't open to the likes of you and me. This is how Raphael consults with his clients so efficiently, no matter the time, no matter the place, and it's how he stalks his prey! There is, there is. 
If you stare into the portals long enough, your mind starts to do cartwheels and tricks you into thinking you're falling into a horrible, yawning void. It's one of my favorite ways to pass the time. But you have no time to waste, or time will waste you. And what you need from the house is in the archive. Not here! my way. Don't touch anything and keep quiet. I've had enough pests bothering me today. I don't need another. The Chamber of Egress. Way station of the Hells. Providing access to Raphael's clientele, wherever they might make their home. I am its keeper, Nubaldin. Very much not at your service. The greatest pest of all! I've always thought hope to be a dirty, empty little word. She suits it well. Nasty little optimist who doesn't have the good sense to lose her mind completely like the rest of us. She has a rather loathsome habit of popping into existence all over the house to shout words of encouragement to the other denizens. It's most irksome, but her appearances are just a trick of the light. Her corporeal form is down in the dark, bound by unbreakable chains in Raphael's dungeon. It used to be my prison, New Baldin's very own pit of pain. I was its keeper. <laughs> but that was a very long time ago. a mistake. Raphael doesn't tolerate mistakes. We had one house guest by the name of Gortash. A mischievous little blot of a boy, and he slipped through my fingers. <laughs> Is that what he calls himself these days? The sniveling little shit. He was the son of a cobbler or some such meager tradesman, sold to Raphael by his loving parents to pay off a petty debt. <laughs> Lord, indeed. I used to bruise my knuckles on his whimpering little face. I'd like to have snapped his neck. Then why not get to the snapping of necks instead of the flapping of lips? I tire of you. What interest do you have in the prison? Must have our hobbies, I suppose. <laughs> all right, all right. Turn left when you exit this chamber, and you will find a hatch that leads beneath the house. That's where they keep the naughtiest souls. Do watch out for the guards, though. They're not as reasonable as you and I. Not. 
splendid city of Atkatla hums beyond the portal. Atkatla. So, Gortash's parents sold him to a warlock? Why does that sound so familiar? I've got no interest in empathizing with the fuck. Maybe what he did to me was some kind of mirror of what happened to him. When you get fucked up, you fuck up right back. Neverwinter, Jewel of the North. Neverwinter, Jewel of the North. I wonder if the cult of the Absolute has influence there as well. Waterdeep. The forces of the Absolute could threaten even the City of Splendors if they were to reach it. This portal leads directly to the frigid citadel of Mephistar, nestled in the hells. Mephistar, home to the archdevil Mephistopheles. Raphael's bold indeed if he ever visits uninvited. Luskan, city of sails, at the far north of the Sword Coast, in the shadow of the spine of the world. Menzo Baranzan, the jewel of the Underdark, lies beyond. Menzo Baranzan, city of spiders. Of course Raphael has dealings in the depths of the Underdark. Such a beautiful house. Mm. I applaud your taste. I don't think this is strictly legal. of the clock is downcast. Positively wretched. Perfect! Hello again, little mice. The price for speaking is steep, but I must give warning. Your prize is just ahead in the archive, but you can't take it yet. And even if you could, you mustn't. Trigger the alarm, and Raphael will come swooping home on wings of malice to rip out your soul. In this house, thieves are melted like butter and spread onto toast! Shh! I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. I can. I shall. I can. I shall. The archivist is the key. But he's as stubborn as a king and as serious as a heart attack. 
Exploit his fiddling weakness and make him grovel! Oh no. They hear me. Speak quickly, speak softly. You know how this goes. Study your mind and prepare your questions. He fears authority figures. Perhaps his teacher took a strap to him and left a deep impression at an early age. There's one regular visitor that he particularly fears. She is... A crack like breaking bone. Hope winces. Virilius. Virilius Receptor. A High Inquisitor of Zariel. Officially entitled to audit Raphael's collection. Her true form is so gargantuan and mind-scarring to behold that she takes on many guises when she visits. Play your part well and you can be one of those blasphemous guises. The mechanism is locked and can't be used again. Uh, yes. to put my hands on everything. Seems like a good moment to talk. Raphael knows everything. A guest? Are you a client of the Master or a visitor from elsewhere in the Hells? I do not believe you were invited. One moment. I shall consult the visitor's schedule. Hmm. Hmm. Most irregular. The schedule is all but clear, and yet you are here. A thousand apologies, O oh majestic magistrate of the infernal court. Your mortal guise is so vile, I found it perfectly convincing. I would prostrate myself before you and kiss your calluses, but my spine is ruptured in a thousand places. You do know how Raphael likes to play. As always, the archive is yours to peruse. You'll find everything accounted for, and I can present documents of procurement if necessary. may examine them, O oh diabolical dominatrix, but they cannot be removed unless you present a writ of infernal requisition with Article 152 correctly filled out. A fine pair of gauntlets that allow the wearer to twist the head from even the most resilient malingerer. An amulet that causes the blood to surge and the heart to swell, along with other parts. Hmm. Most invigorating. And awaiting installation, we have secured a rod that gathers the weave around it in great quantities, just as surely as shit gathers flies. 
An exquisite and most unique artifact. Crafted with materials hewn from the depths of the Hells by Raphael's Merrigan labor force. As it was created by Raphael himself, we have no documents of procurement, nor do we require any. But if you wish to examine the artifact itself, you are more than welcome. As part of the special collection, that item is guarded by a master word that even I do not know. I suggest you wait until Raphael returns, and you can discuss the matter with him. You are welcome to relax in the boudoir until then. It is where Raphael conducts his most private matters of business and pleasure. You will need this to gain access. The resident of the boudoir will wish to explore every inch of your new form, and I'm sure you will be happy to share. Cleanse the books. I comb each and every line for falsehoods and purge them pure. of hill giant strength. The air is ripe with magic. Finger on the master's treasures, and you will lose the entire hand. Out of sight, out of mind. If not over, then through. fingers have attracted attention. It seems an explanation may be in order. You'll walk free for now, but your stories won't land so well if you're caught again. Let's see what this does. 
Whatever it takes. No one back home will ever believe this. That's a friendly looking shadow. Free for the taking. Here we go. Orphic hammer. When the Orphic hammer strikes like thunder, even astral chains are torn 